total opposites of earlier. I just want to say that. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? It's Claudia and Requaya. Requaya, you've had you you you've seen her on the on the channel before because we talked about a movie together. Remember, a long time ago, we watched at, at Ava's house. We watched something and then we talked about it. No, I just remember the last time I I was in the, was our last day party. But we didn't do a podcast type talk. Did we do a podcast for mm -hmm. the movie? Uh, yeah, we did. We talked. We discussed it. It was a movie on Netflix, and we discussed it. Okay, well, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I guess it was so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> she like, mind you, I don't remember it either. Wait a minute. Yes, I do. It was something in the wheel, the wheel of time. Oh, the Oprah movie. Yeah, it was um, excellent. It was excellent. Know you the, know what? With, with the, the young lady mm -hmm. and, and a cast yeah, of women. Yeah. And they were yeah. special. Yeah. yeah. By the time I yeah. saw it, uh, yeah. I think Arista and you, uh -huh. you and Arista actually talking. That, that's, exactly, that's, that's exactly. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. yeah. It was the wheel of time. The wheel of time. Yeah. The wheel. It was the wheel yeah. of time. I remember. It was, the it was I excellent. Go back and it now. It was fabulous. You know what I'm wondering now? If the music will create a copyright infringement because it can be heard. So let's play this back and see if that is so. And if the if music in the background the music in the oh, background okay. would hit a copyright okay. strike. Okay, so we've determined that the music cannot be heard <laughs> because we don't want any copyright infringements and strikes on the channel. Anyway, we want it to come together anyway in 2023 and do a podcast. Um, but um, we definitely got to do it in a place where music is not a question. But this is, we'll, we'll, we'll say this is a forerunner. <laughs> okay. What in the world is that? That's your phone. That's your phone. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Now that we're done with the allergies. So, we are in Bolay Restaurant on Virginia Avenue which is an Ethiopian, authentic Ethiopian restaurant. Even the people working here are Ethiopian, I think. What do you think? Uh, they, they, have, they are just beautiful to me. They're beautiful people. Um, and we are going to be having a mukbang. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you Requaya the right to start the conversation. Not the right. We don't want we're not jurors. We're not with the jurisdiction. As a guest, um, as a guest doing this with me, I will, I'm gonna give you the um, delight of starting our conversation anywhere you want to start it. Because we're going to pop. We're going to popcorn. I don't know if I've had, I have a starting point. Uh -huh. I know we've had a really good day. That's a good starting point. <laughs> I mean, the day party was entertaining, interesting, very interactive. So okay. Both of us. That's right. I actually did. Because my shoes <laughs> off. I did too. <laughs> yeah, she took her shoes off, guys. So. She looked so she looks beautiful now and she was she looks so beautiful at the day party and in case you don't believe it what we'll do is we'll put in the pics <laughs> or some clips of the day party I in here just like i do now with <laughs> <lipstick>. <laughs> okay so she said but um and we'll share some pics from that was giving, though. it the really was giving. but you know when you have a great <laughs> Uh, palette to start the face, no matter what you put on it, the face is, is going to be given. Okay, that's the truth. You're welcome. Um, but that, you're welcome. But that, that's a great starting point because I enjoyed it too. That day party was exquisite. And we hadn't, we went to a day party in May. It was May. But it was nothing like this one. It was definitely a different energy, different vibe. I don't know if it's because we were in the hood this time. Heavy <laughs> 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 backstage is given. <laughs> Garby Road is given. <laughs> it is 
that. That yeah. is exactly what was popping. MIA popular. is giving. And, and you all might be saying, what, what is MIA an acronym for? LIA. I think it's, LIA. Is it the lesbians, lesbians in Atlanta? Lesbians. LIA. Lesbians in Atlanta sounds about right. Yeah. Because they're a traveling group. Like, they travel and they party? Have, yeah. Wow. Um, but they have different um, <laughs> events and oh, gatherings. Cool. Okay. Um, at the end of this month, they're having a costume party. Oh, wow. Look, look at this one. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> I said MIA. I may or may missing not, an action. You I may or may not be interested. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, with the right combination of elements, she just might be interested. <laughs> I could be. Because you never yeah. know. As long as it's not like. Who's there? Oh, who might day. be there? Oh, that's true. Because no. <laughs> it's Halloween on a work day this year. Do you guys know? Is it? Friday the 13th. It's on a Friday No, the she didn't. Friday the 13th. No. Okay. Okay. But um, with the day party, I'm just, I'm going to pop it over to um, when you're at a party and somebody approaches you, what do you, you, you tell me what, what I can work on as far as being honest at the party and um, bring your authentic self to the person as they're asking you for that when they talk to you and it's not... Um, it's not right per se to give them your representative or your other face. That's not good. I hate a representative. <laughs> Why? What, what, a representative is. Do not introduce me to a vibe you can't maintain. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's specious. Because it's, who, it's, 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 not, it's not right. It's, it's, um, it's a lie. It's, it's, a, it's una mentira. So, like, you're right. I think my blessing and my curse is that I always just show up. <laughs> whoever I am in that yes, moment is who I, who I am in that moment. And but it's um, always true to you. What I'm learning is that um, all of those people are true to me. Okay. I don't know how crazy that sounds. No, I, it does. It, but. I am not interested in, in meeting a representative. Yes. So Cause I don't. I don't know what it's like to show up other than as myself. I see. That is a beautiful way to say yeah. it, and it's honest. Yeah. Because you know we used to hear about representatives all the time when you start dating. Or, yeah. Or, I'm like. And I think, like, sometimes, like, people show up as who they feel comfortable in. Yes. Who, who, who they feel comfortable as. Yes. In that moment. Mm -hmm. But at least. Which is also fair. Yes. Because you, I don't know. But even in the comfort of showing up as the person in that moment, that person should still be true to an aspect of you that is like because as you know like I, I have this Jade right I love Jade, Jade. <laughs> I never met her but I love Jade I don't know maybe you met Jade a little bit today <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Okay. Because Jade is just kind of fun. I mean, <gasps> oh Jade can be fun and interactive and um, all of those sexy and alluring and inviting yes. and sexy, you know, all of those things. Yes. Um, however, Jay can also be a problem. Like snappy? Snappy and you're, what you're not going to do is play with us, you know? Yes. Um, and so what I've learned in the life last almost year or so, uh -huh. or what has happened in the last year or so, is that I have taken... I've become aware of the fact that they're really not that separate. Like, my alter ego and Rick Playa are similar. Yes. So it's hard to differentiate the two. I see what you're saying. So, um, how, so now I'm in a place in my life where I'm like, 
I don't say, oh, that was Jade. Oh, yeah. So Making someone, excuses. Like, right. So if mm -hmm. someone that met me tonight were to call me in a couple of days uh -huh. and realize I'm the most boring person they've ever met. That is to. hilarious. But <laughs> all I do is go to work and go home. <laughs> And I have no interest of going or doing anything <laughs> outside of that on a regular basis. Where Jay was be lighting like, up the party. Right. They'll be like, what happened to the chick in the tutu at the party, right? And I'll be like, well, you met me in a party environment. Oh. That's not my everyday life. <laughs> so and it wasn't my representative. Right. It was the time and place for the energy. Right. And it was true. It right. was true. It was true in that moment. I see what you're saying. But we're not at backstage every day. That's correct. We're not partying and listening to good music. That's and right. Having more than our fair share of drinks. You know? <laughs> That's right. Um, or whatever your vice is at the moment. Yes. So, however, I think the difference is that. Um, Sometimes people literally uh -huh. break themselves. Yes, they do. Well, you're, you're this person. In this setting. In this setting. Totally different from the and, person. Right. You know? And then it's like. Giving people the notion that probably you have a split in right. your personality. Mm -hmm. I see. I, I, I see what you're saying. But in all things, be true to you right. so that you don't have to go home to a lie. Because I feel like you can always be multiple as long as you know who you are at the core. Because you can't be I don't know, it's weird because like I can't be who I am with you at work. Oh you know? I see what you're saying. Yes. Like yes. my work environment does a, does not a lot for me to sit down and, and have fun, cordial right, right. conversation. Right. I have right. to be very on point. I have mm -hmm. to be very professional. Professional. Mm -hmm. I have to be very um, I get it. To the point <laughs> Yeah. You know, there's no there's not room for friendly oh, there's not very that. much room for friendly. I was just thinking that um, there's no room for work, that. right? Mm -hmm. And like even in my um, personal life. Yes. Like I value all of my friends equally. Yes. But like what I can share with you, I might not be share with someone else. I see. Because they may not give what I think I need in that moment. Okay. But, yes. So it's really weird, but I think you can. There's a. I still think there's very really a very distinct difference between showing up as who you always are, no matter who you are in that moment. Yes. And setting your representative in the beginning, because the representative always wants you to believe that this is who I always am, and that's not true. And that's not true, as opposed to. This is who I am in this moment. Right. But please understand that in any moment, I could, I could also be some, someone different. In a different space. In a different space. I got I get it. And that's all me. As opposed to, hey, I'm always happy, cheery. And you can catch me next and, week and I'm solemn and serious. And you're, mm -hmm. you're really, that's not who you are. Right. That's a trauma right. response or uh -huh. that's a wall. Trauma or, response. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if I have a lot of trauma responses. I probably do. And walls too. Do you have any walls? Definitely. I love your honesty. Without a doubt. I love your honest, honesty. Without a doubt. It's refreshing. I don't know about if it's refreshing because yes the thing of, oh okay so what I'm trying to um, learn is how to um, create boundaries as opposed to walls because oh. walls they don't only keep things from like coming in like they don't just keep the bad things from coming in they keep everything from coming in Right. As opposed to boundaries that I'm learning, learning 
is that even like when you allow people into your space, yes, those people that are in your space, you can create boundaries that do not push them away. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, you can say, "This is who I am. This is what I expect." Um, but there's room for error. There's room for growth. There's room for patience. Mm -hmm. There's room for grace. There's mm -hmm. room for mercy. As opposed to walls, where I'm not even. I'm not even going to give you the chance. Right. That's right. To fuck me over. Hmm. You know. Yes. I, I know. I know what you're saying. So I'm trying to get more. I'm trying to get closer to boundaries. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's a process. A journey. Yeah. What what life lessons do you think are yours to grasp and work with? Like for me, it's communication um, to a certain point. Um, thank you. Whoa. That looks so nice. It's beautiful. That smells so good. Yeah, this Thank is beef. This is mac. I would bring some. Did we rice? Oh wait, okay. Oh, you ordered rice. I did. Girl, that is so good, guys. Did you all see that? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Yours looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. What is what is that called? A co that's a platter. A combination. Yeah, this is a this sampler. Is a, a sampler. I kind of wish I had gotten like more rice. No, they're gonna bring a side of rice for me. Okay, but you kind of wish what? Um, you kind of. You know what? Now that I'll tell you that. I what? think this is perfect. I think so too. That looks great. And that is a rice and vegetable veggie oh, meal. That's good. I'm probably gonna put some in your shit. <laughs> oh, pardon my language. I forgot what it was for. But again, here I am. <laughs> oh. And mind you, I'm looking at her in Jira thinking, I want one of those. <laughs> you, know, you, you can eat in Jira, right? Uh -huh. One. I, I'll just have one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Amen. Uh, I'll take the, that little one right here. Y'all, y'all. Gracias. Okay, guys. So, my life lesson, I think, is communicate and to communicate well. And to communicate uh, my truth and perspective, no matter what. And as you always remind me, never have to feel like I have to justify my truth. It simply is what it is. Yeah. I feel like, unfortunately, like, someone else's truth, we can't negate that. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't tell them that they're wrong mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. because their experience is their experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our experience is our experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, definitely not. Mm. Mm -mm. It's a crazy thing about life. Mm -hmm. like, oh, perspective no. really is everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of perspective, then everything. Did you finish watching? The second golden bachelor mm -hmm. so now i can say that yes i agree that the guitar playing lovely seemed to be a great choice mm -hmm. for jerry mm -hmm. however her perspective was that she wasn't savvy enough sensual enough mm -hmm. enough mm -hmm. sexy enough to compete with the other women yeah. Without saying, I'm just me. Mm -hmm. I'm just me no matter how I show up. No lipstick, hair not done, on a motorcycle, this is me. And you may find that you like me if you give me a chance. Because I'm here for you, Jeremy. I'm here to show up. But her perspective shifted when she decided that she wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. So, the self perspective, I think, and you know this about me, is more important than what the world thinks. Okay. Because mm -hmm. 
like I said today before, I didn't know what my body was given or the outfit because mm -hmm. it was the original outfit mm -hmm. or whatever. But mm -hmm. then I wasn't sure because mm -hmm. I didn't have a full body mirror in my house. Mm -hmm. It's in my daughter's room and I didn't want to go in there. Mm -hmm. But what I knew for sure mm -hmm. was that these legs were given uh -huh. and this face card was not going, going to decline today. At all. At all. Mm -mm. Right? So I think that. I think how you feel about you, mm -hmm. it will cultivate how other people show up in your life. Mm -hmm. Or don't show up. Or don't show up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not showing up for you, then mm -hmm. Why what somebody obligation else show do I have to you? Mm -hmm. And as much as we would like to think that we can love people past their trauma, love people mm -hmm. past their pain, mm -hmm. like love people into their full potential, mm -hmm. we really aren't that great. <laughs> like, we really aren't that great. Like, <laughs> people are just going to show up um, at the level that they are healed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um... I was really rooting for her. I just saw the last episode, the mm -hmm. second episode, just last That's night. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh. Like, because she mm -hmm. showed up on a, on a Harley or a bike mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. all confident. Mm -hmm. And then she serenaded him with a guitar. Sure did, and all confident. They were looking at each other eye to eye. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, they really I'm have. not one for eye contact. So if I make eye contact with you, like, I'm serious. I'm serious, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, just the energy. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, considering that we are just being entertained, mm -hmm. but for me, the energy that I felt between them um, in episode one mm -hmm. through the screen, I was like, "This is it," mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And but then fast forward to uh, third episode two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, that's not sexy at all. Like, at all. Mm -mm. You know? When you put yourself down, how can he? Like, I can't spend the rest of my life with you. Thing you. I can't, Great way I to mean, say it. I can spend the rest of my life confirming you. Great way to say it. I can spend the, life of, the rest of my life affirming mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. I cannot spend the rest of my life is creating a narrative for your self-esteem. That's right. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And perhaps the producers saw that su also mm -hmm. and suggested she leave. Did she leave? She didn't leave. She got voted. Okay. Huh? She was, she stayed. She got the first row. No, she stayed, she, in episode two, she was still there. Okay. And I like the fact that she received the first rose. Um, out of all of the women, when she rode in with that bike and serenaded him, and blah blah blah, and the other women, were even looking. though he kissed someone else, well, well, one of them in pulled someone. One of them pulled his head down to her, and she kissed him. Two of them did that. The birthday chick. Yeah, he kissed her. Okay, there's another one that kissed him. Mm hmm. Nobody black kissed him. But one of I know, but let's yeah, be honest. I mean, let's be honest. Nobody black kissed him, but sure one of those girls. Where that was. Hmm? They just were kissing him. <laughs> mm. That blows. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because mm. for me, kissing is rather intimate, personal. See, in my younger days, mm -hmm. I would have been like, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how you know if the spark is there. Yeah. But but now I'm like I think just naturally uh -huh. what's appealing to the eye is what you first you know, that's the first um attraction. Right. You know? Okay. But for me, like after I see you, mm -hmm. then I see you. Mm -hmm. And if what is on the inside mm -hmm. doesn't match what's on the outside, I'm good, love, and joy. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, with that having been said, mm, I'm going to say this. The reason why I said um, guitarist was going home because when episode two was going off, 
the highlights for the next Thursday were played and she was crying and telling him because I watch it till the until the credits go up she was crying and telling Jerry that